Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialanda is a national hero of the Philippines. He was an activist, writer, a polymath and a key member of the Filipino propaganda movement which advocated for changes in the colony under the Spanish rule. He was born on June 19, 1861 in the town of Calamba, Laguna. He was the seventh child in a family of 11 children. His parents went to school and were well known. His father, Francisco Rizal Mercado, worked hard as a farmer in Biñon, Laguna. On May 3, 1882, he went by boat to Spain. In Spain, he continued his studies at the Universidad Central de Madrid. On June 21, 1884, at the age of 23, he got his degree and became a doctor. On June 19, 1885, at the age of 24, he got another degree in philosophy and letters. He hoped to make political changes in his country and to make the Filipinos go to school. Rizal wrote many poems and books that show his love for his country. In March 1887, his book, Noli Mi Tangere was published. It shows the bad habits of the Spanish priests. El Filibusterismo, his second novel was published on September 18, 1891. It is sadder than his first book. Rizal was not liked by those in power. He told people about the bad things that were done by the priests and the people working for the government, and this caused trouble for him and his relatives. Because of this, he and those who he knew were watched by the government. They made up bad things about him. When he arrived from Hong Kong with his sister Lucia, they said that in Lucia's luggage they found letters Rizal wrote that spoke about the priests in a bad way. Because of this he was put to jail in Fort Santiago from July 6 to July 15, 1892. He was made to stay in Dapitan and there he did farming, fishing and business. He also worked in a hospital. He taught others English and Spanish and the arts. When the Philippine Revolution started on August 26, 1896, his enemies went after him fast. They were able to get people to say bad things against him and connected him with the war. He was never allowed to talk to these people. Because the Spanish authorities thought he was responsible for the activities of the rebels, he was exiled to the city of Dapitan in Zamboanga, in the southern Philippines. From November 3, 1896 until his death, he was imprisoned at Fort Santiago. During his last days in prison, he wrote a poem which is now known as the M.I. Ultimo Adios. The poem contains Rizal's final farewell. After a trial by the military, he was convicted of rebellion, sedition and of illegal association. He was sentenced to death and was executed by firing squad in the early morning hours of December 30, 1896 at Bagumbayan Field. His body was initially buried in an unmarked grave in the Paco Cemetery. His bones were then exhumed and are now located in their final resting place at the Rizal Monument. Write a comment how was the video and suggest us some helpful information. If you choose the video please like the video and share with your friends. Please subscribe the channel and turn on bell icon for more video.